What's going on guys? Today we are looking at a tempered glass screen protector for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. As usual, I'm going for something that is supposed to be easy to install. This has that little, uh, what would you call it, like a guide that goes on top of the device to make the alignment much, much easier. This is from Caseology. As you can see, I purchased this with my own money a few days ago. I actually installed it several days ago. So what's going to happen is I'm going to show you the installation process and then we're going to talk about a little problem that popped up with it and how that problem was strangely resolved you're going to want to stick around for that part because if if you run into this same problem as i did this might actually help you all right so we have the caseology tempered glass screen protector kit and this should be one of those easy ones to install that has that guide i think i've actually used one of these in the past we do have some specifications back here scratch scratch resistance uh, 9H surface hardness, fingerprint resistance, that's always a good thing to see. So yeah, let's go ahead and slide this out and see what we have in the box. As you can see, we have two of these kits, two different little uh, frames that your phone is actually going to snap into, and both of these are going to have a screen protector already in them. And then we have our instructions on exactly how this is supposed to go. Since my Pixel Fold is currently in the official case from Google, I do need to pop this off real quick to actually use this frame. And this is the installation pad. You're supposed to actually set your phone on top of this to presumably keep it from sort of sliding around. And then the next thing you're meant to do is use one of these packages here to clean off your screen. Of course, we start off with an alcohol wipe first. Then you have the little microfiber to try and dry that alcohol pad off. And then you're gonna wanna look really closely and just make sure that there's no dust nothing on that screen if there is you have these stickers and you peel the sticker off and you stick it to the screen and that should sort of remove any additional dust assuming there isn't any you're going to take one of these frames and you're going to peel this part off which makes it you know basically reveals the sticky portion of this and then you're going to put that down onto the device and the cool thing about this is because there is this frame you have to get it lined up correctly there's really no way to do it incorrectly. They want you to then press and slide here to sort of help it press down onto the screen and then wait 30 seconds. At that point you can go ahead and peel from this side and what that's going to do is release this frame from what you have just attached to your device. You can then peel off this protective layer and then use the squeegee to get out any bubbles that might be underneath the screen. Although I can already see that disaster has struck. I have something that has ended up underneath the screen despite the fact that I looked and didn't see anything. So I'm going to have to do this again and hope that I get it right the second time. I think we're going to be all right on this one. Let me just quickly sort of squeegee some of the air out from underneath, nice and gentle. You don't want to press super duper hard, just hard enough to kind of slowly move that air out. It looks to me as though we were successful on the second attempt. I don't see any bubbles or anything that got stuck underneath it this time. I think that we look pretty darn good. So what we need to see now is how does this actually feel doing a back gesture? And it is very, very smooth. So that is great. You're not going to have like a sharp thing against your hand whenever you're doing these back gestures. And now let's put that front piece back on from the official case and we can get an idea of how much extra space there is. As you can see, there is quite a bit of extra space. So I imagine that this screen protector will be compatible with pretty much any case out there. Looks like we've got a little bit of a bubble trying to come back there, but over time that should go away and stay away. But we'll do sort of a time jump in this video at any rate, maybe a day or so, and I can kind of update you on how things have been at that point. So that little bubble that was sort of popping up on that lower left hand side, it just kept coming back. It would not go away. I even went as far as to take the front piece off of my case and put the device facing down and I put a battery bank, something that wasn't super, super heavy, but there's a battery bank in here. I placed this on top of it to apply some additional pressure to try to get that to fully adhere. It was really weird. I could take my finger and I could push it down and then it would just come right back. Super, super annoying. In fact, I had filmed this entire video and told you guys, hey, you may run into this problem, this bubble, you know, maybe a thing, the fitment might not be quite right. Something's wrong with this thing. 
And then something very, very strange happened. I began to work on my full review for the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. And in the course of filming that, I ran an application called 3 Mark, which is a benchmarking application. And I did basically a stress test on this device where it ran the same very intense, graphically intense benchmark 20 times in a row. And by doing this, the device got up to 41 degrees Celsius. Now, before you freak out and say, oh my God, the tensors are super, super hot. Just a quick spoiler for my full review, the OnePlus Open got to the exact same 41 degrees Celsius, so that is not an abnormal test result. What is abnormal to me is that after I did that, after the device got warm, I noticed immediately after that, that that bubble was gone. I think that that heat did something to the screen protector and it caused it to re-adhere and it now is absolutely picture perfect. I have no complaints about this screen protector now. It is nice and soft on the edge, so when you're doing your back gesture, it's not sharp like some of the like less expensive screen protectors are. The installation was very, very easy. And even though I had that problem, my suggestion to you, as crazy as this sounds, go install 3D Mark and run the Wildlife Extreme stress test and it may resolve the problem. You could also potentially take a hair dryer and apply some direct heat to it. Be careful, don't let it get too hot. This is a folding phone. We don't want to expose it to crazy temperatures, but let it get a little bit warm and see if that fixes that problem for you. Again, I know this is a weird thing to have happen, but it's what happened to me. So guys, I'm going to put a link to this screen protector in the description down below. If you click on that link and then you make a purchase on Amazon, I will earn commission off of that purchase. And that is a great way to help support the channel. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.